Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today I want to show you how to carry firewood with ease. So stick around. Let's be honest, carrying firewood sucks. Whether it be over a long distance or even a short distance, especially if you have to make multiple trips. Now, a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, a buddy of mine named Dan Wowak from Coal Cracker Bushcraft posted a video on a simple firewood carry system that allows you to transport firewood with ease. So today, what I wanna do is recreate that system and share the tribal knowledge. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna grab two branches. And you want these branches to be anywhere from thumb size to one inch in diameter. And the reason why is because the smaller one, you're gonna go ahead and pick that up. And you want it to fit comfortably inside your hand. So as long as it's comfortable, you're good to go. Now for your length. You want one to be approximately 12 inches and the other one to be anywhere from 18 to 24 inches. Next you want to go ahead and grab some cordage. And I want two lengths of three foot or four foot. So I know for me, the center of my chest to my fingertips is roughly three foot three. I want two lengths of that. There's one and there's two. Now once you've done that, all you gotta do is fold it over that gives you your halfway point right here. Cut it one more time. We'll go ahead and burn the ends on these also. Now grabbing one end of your cordage, you want to go ahead and tie a bowline. To do that, we're going to just rotate it over. Go up from the bottom, go around, back down. We're going to pinch both these ends and pull it tight. Now, just like everything else that we do, we want to go ahead and do a layout. So taking my smaller stick, I want to go ahead and center it up on my larger stick. About right there. Now I also want to go about an inch to an inch and a half from the end. Now taking my bowline, all I'm going to do is going to wrap it around and pass it through. So now for our opposite end, we're going to go ahead and tie a jam knot, but to do that we want to tie a slip knot first. So taking my end, go across the top, I'm going to go behind it, and we're going to come back through, and you see that pretzel shape right there, and that creates our slip knot. So now grabbing my branch, place it on there and we can slip it down to where we want it. And then we'll finish it off right here with an overhand knot and that creates a jam knot. So then all you gotta do now, take your larger end, pass it through your smaller end, slide it down, it locks out, and you're good to go. Welcome back, that was good to go. Let's talk about a couple of things. First off, the paracord. Now, I use paracord or brightly colored paracord so you can see how I was tying the knots. But be aware that paracord tends to stretch when it's under a heavy load, so tarred bank line might be a better choice. Now, the second thing I'll talk about, the knots. 
tie whatever knot you like. I showed you a bowline and a jam knot. And lastly, if you haven't already, please check out Dan Wilwack at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'll catch you next time.